Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Julia Moffat with the latest headlines from Eyewitness News. A federal judge has issued a preliminary injunction stopping the state from enforcing the so-called ballot selfie law. The law made it a potential felony for voters to take pictures with their election ballots and then share those images online. The ACLU of Indiana sued, arguing the law violated voters' First Amendment rights. A father charged with injuring his four-year-old son at the Madison County 4-H Fair won't be going to prison. A judge handed down a six-year suspended sentence and probation for Justin Messersmith. A jury convicted him of neglect of a dependent and battery after witnesses say they saw him hurt the boy in the summer of 2014. According to our news gathering partners at the Herald Bulletin, Mesra Smith admitted that he went too far in disciplining his son, but the judge warned him one more mistake will send him to prison. IU police are investigating a rape which was reported on the school's Bloomington campus. The alleged assault happened early Sunday morning at McNutt Quad. A 19-year-old visiting IU told detectives an 18-year-old student raped her in a dorm room. Detectives say the two met in the dorm hallway. Investigators have interviewed the suspect, but right now no arrests have been made. And there will be no criminal charges for the Metro police officer who hit and killed a pedestrian in September, but he could still lose his job. Officer Bernardo Zavalza hit Ronnie Bowling last month on Southport Road. Investigators say Zavalza's blood alcohol content after the crash was under the legal limit of .08. The case does not rise to the level of criminal charges, but despite that, the police chief still is recommending his termination. That'll do it for us right now. Thanks for being with us. I'm Julia Moffat. As always, you can get the very latest in news, weather, and traffic throughout the day at WTHR.com.